Hey, all you wonderful storyline people. I wanted to show you a trick that I have that allows you to mask certain things in storyline. Nate, who I have the eLearning Guys podcast with, uh, here he is here, had created this cool tip or hint box that slides out. It works very well, very nice, very smooth. Uh, it uses the fly-in animation in storyline. It's set to come in from the left. So if you've worked with Storyline before, you know that you have to put a little white box, as you can see here, to kind of hide that shape moving across the screen because it always comes in from the edge of the, the stage here. And here it is without that white box. You can clearly see now that slide in from the left. Uh, and that white box basically just, as long as it's over that animation, it hides whatever is happening. So to the learner, they don't know the difference. They don't know that, that there's some trick to it. Uh, but, but that's how it works. Now, what if you wanted to move this over here to the right? You would have to take a screenshot and kind of mask it right up to this line here to hide this thing sliding in from the left. You know, that's okay, but certainly that causes potentially a lot of problems. You always have to have that image, that screenshot on top of everything, and that can cause problems if you try to put other things on this. Let's say you've got a number of these little hint boxes. In this case, let's say you've got different boxes, and as you roll over them, it tells you the different uh, parts of this, this skull. Well, it's a lot of work if you're trying to do that and put these little screenshots all over. It, just, it would be a mess, and you'd probably just decide that that's not the way you want to go, even though visually this would be the nicest way to go. So I found a workaround to this, and that is to use a scrolling panel. What you can do is you can put whatever you want to inside of this, animate it, and you will only see the animation within the scrolling panel. So as you can see here, I can move this anywhere. I'll move it right over the eye here. Uh, as I roll over this, it will animate out just like you expect, but I've got no screenshots that are cropped down. I've got nothing like that. I can have six of these, seven, eight of these in here on different parts of the, the skull there and uh, th there's no conflictions or other problems that you're running into. Now, I've not had a lot of time to play around with what you can do with this, but for instance, I had a scene in a project where someone says, you know, take a seat, and I didn't want the arm to animate in from way over to the right. I want it to kind of ha happen right kind of more in the middle, and I don't want to create a white box over here to the right because we might put another image kind of in the background here, and so that would highly complicate things. So I can just throw this in a scrolling panel, animate it in as expected, and it seems to work very well. Nate's and I uh, tested this in HTML and Flash. They both seem to work. Nate's been playing around a little bit with this as well with drag and drops, and there are some problems that, that you run into, so we're trying to figure out what all those are, but uh, generally just animating things in and out uh, seems to work very well. It works very well as, as, a, as a mask mechanism. I also think that there's a lot of things, and I need to explore this out, but there's a lot of things you could do with menus and other animations and other little tricks and techniques to kind of get things on screen, little interactions uh, that you can use this masking approach with. So again, I haven't really thought a lot about it, but if anyone in storyline land out there thinks of some other way to possibly use this, please let me know. I'd, I'd love to see how it could be used. Thanks for watching and happy learning.